you guys won't believe what I just accidentally did. This is, I haven't done this in, gosh, years. I made this tumbler, okay, and it's really hard to see it, but I'll show you the difference in a second. You can kind of see it here, the fogginess that's on it. But what happened was I washed my hands. I haven't been to Bath and Body Works, a little bit of backstory. I hadn't been to Bath and Body Works in a pretty long time, so I went there the other day and I got some soaps. And I had just washed my hands with some Bath and Body Works soaps, which have a lot of oil, you know, fragrances and oils and stuff. Typically, when I when before I touch any of my my tumblers, because I know that they haven't cured for a few days, um, I only use like Dawn on my hands because it gets rid of your oils and whatever. No perfumes, nothing. I had just washed my hands with the Bath and Body Works stuff, and this tumbler had just gotten done. I just got like its last coating on it but I had take my fingers and I I had slicked down it just to kind of feel it you know because I like to do that I feel my tumblers you know that's just a thing and it made this two these two streak marks I didn't think nothing about it I'm like oh it'll come off in a minute after I you know I wash it so I put the handle back on it um and then I went to go buff it up so I took a rag took a rag and I took some rubbing alcohol and I put it on there and I buffed up I buffed up my tumbler and now there is a haze completely around my entire tumbler because my epoxy um it wasn't cured all the way yet so I mean it was cured but it wasn't like cured I I know that's hard to explain and what I mean by that is I used a fast setting epoxy and uh typically after about an hour or two you can go in and you know, do your thing. Well, because the weather that I've been having here, it's really humid and stuff. It's going to take a little bit longer. So it wasn't fully done yet. It could have happened with any epoxy. Um, it just wasn't ready to be wiped off yet. Because like I said, it's just getting to be that time of year. The humidity is getting a little out of control. So it's taking, it's making my, my epoxy take a little bit longer to cure, which is normal. It's like this every year. And I just forgot. So, <laughs> but... Let me lay it down and I'll show you. Uh, I'll show this side. Yeah, you can see, I don't know. It just, it's really hazy. It's not the depth it should be. So I'll show you what it should look like. Take my rubbing alcohol and that's what it should look like. It should look, you should be able to see the things underneath, you know? So anyways, <laughs> so now I gotta take the handle back off easy fix not a big deal I gotta take the handle back off and I gotta put another coat of epoxy over top of it to give it that shine again I can't believe I did that but it happens but easy fix like I said so anyways once I get this fixed up this is this will be Friday's tutorial next Friday's tutorial I just I can't believe I accidentally did that but mistakes happen because I'm not perfect. I'm a human being. So, and it's crafting. Sometimes, sometimes that happens. So there we go. Next Friday. <laughs> All right. Anyways, <laughs> I have purchased some of these keychains. Uh, where did I get it? I think it was Hobby Lobby where I got them. Yes, Hobby Lobby. I <laughs> I got these at Hobby Lobby and I thought they were so cute. Look at that little motel keychains. So some of them are neon. See, they got the neon colors, and then some are just clear, so, you know, you can see through, you know, I think that'd be really cute, just plain glitter, and it just show through on either side, I think that's cute, so we're going to do up a few of these today. All right, anywho, <laughs> we're going to do up some of these keychains today. What is that? There's something all over. There we go. Okay. But I want I wanted to do it a little bit different instead of doing a voiceover. I wanted to just talk to you guys just like this. Just, you know, I wanted it to feel more like we were crafting together, I guess, you know? So anyways, <laughs> I got four sticks. I got four cups. I'm going to do four keychains. And the reason why I want to do four keychains is because I want to use my new glitter that I just launched yesterday so i'm going to be using up all these new colors that are now available on my website if you'd like to use them or use them oh my goodness <laughs> maybe i should do my voiceovers <laughs> if 
if you would like to purchase them. So use those up so you guys can take a look at the new colors. So now I just gotta figure out what I wanna, do I wanna do like hot pink with hot pink? There's no blue though. Like, do I wanna do just like clear? I gotta sit here and think about that. I might do the hot pink with the hot pink. Now you might be wondering why is this, why was this more than that? That's because you get eight in here and six in here. So that's why this one's cheaper, you get less. So just, that, that's why, okay? <laughs> so I'm gonna grab a pink one from out of here. Oh look, it has a zipper. That's nice. There's a little bit of a um, lip there so you can lay your epoxies down in there. Okay, so I think today we're gonna glitter one side, you know? And then maybe next week we'll come through and do something else to the other side. So, cause I don't know if I'm gonna have enough time for this to cure today. We'll have to see. So I think I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use lollipop and this, and then I'm gonna use, let's see, what am I gonna do? I think that would be really cool seeing through because it's, it's a really pretty color to see through. So maybe, okay, do this. I don't know why you only get six in this one. It's kind of odd. Okay, I think I'm gonna do a clear one with Glacier. I think that'll be that'll be my only neon one that I use. All right, the rest of them are gonna be clear. Now I was gonna use uh, UV resin, but I'm almost out of UV resin, so I can't uh, use that. I, I'm I'm gonna save that. I won't have enough. So I'm gonna go ahead and use epoxy. So I'm actually gonna to have to do a voiceover for this next half because I'll be in the middle of it mixing my epoxy and stuff like that. And I have my door open and all my fans going. So voiceover for the next part. Okay, so I mixed up 20 milliliters of epoxy into a cup and then I divvied off that 20 milliliters into four of these cups. And I did, what did I do? Uh, I think I did 2.5 because they don't need that much that, that area that you put your your glitter down into your epoxy resin glitter mixture there it's really not that deep so 2.5 uh, of the epoxy was was good enough to be able to do this so I think you could probably take the hardware off if you want to but I didn't want to do all that so in order for it to be level I had to place it up on top of something because that hardware was getting in the way and was making it want to slant in one direction so I just set it on top of the coordinating glitter that I used this glitter here is called glitterly grape <laughs> my uh, Delisle helped me help me pick out the name for that so uh, I thought it was really really cute and fun so but this is a shifting metallic glitter and this is actually the sister cut to aurora if you happen to purchase my glitter this is uh aurora's sister cut and as you see here i am just taking my little silicone tool and kind of helping that glitter go down into each one of these corners i was just kind of tilting it either way making sure that each each corner has the epoxy all the way up next to it but then i ended up using my little silicone tool to kind of help me out with that so now i'm going to go ahead and move on to the next one i'm going to place that down on top of my shaker there so that way it's nice and level and I'm gonna do the same thing with all my other colors. So I went ahead and I did, what, I, what is this one? That's called Lollipop, there we go. <laughs> and this is a mini chunky and this is a semi-translucent kind of opal. So you can kind of see through it, but this is actually the sister cut to Taffy. So if you guys have Taffy and you, you really like using it, this is its sister cut. And it, like I said, it is a mini chunky. Now this next color here, this is called Glacier. And again, this is another mini chunky. So it's not a big, huge, chunky mix, mini chunky, okay? And this is actually a sister cut to Ice, which is extremely popular in my shop. Actually, all these colors that I, I did sister cuts on, they are extremely popular in my shop. So Ice is the sister cut to Glacier here. So that is what I'm putting down in this clear one right here. And this last glitter, if you guys remember, I showed you guys this glitter before my box, my chaos boxes were available. This is called 50K. It is a metallic and opal mix, and it's a champagne and kind of this really pretty pink and all that. I, I really love this color, so, so pretty. But I did a tumbler with this, uh, 
gosh, a few, maybe even like a month ago. I can't remember. Anyways, <laughs> but I'm going to apply that right into this clear one as well. But now all I'm going to do is let these sit off to the side. I got to go mow the grass and all that, you know, just chores, daily chores. <laughs> I gotta go do all that. Maybe by the time I get done mowing the grass, they'll be ready to kind of handle, but I don't feel comfortable enough yet to do anything with them yet. So definitely not today. We will definitely have to finish this up next vlog. And I also want to mention that after I laid the glitter down into the little keychain molds and I placed them on top of my little containers here, I did very carefully just kind of hit them up with a my little mini torch just very quickly to get pop any little micro bubbles and then that was it. Just very quick. You don't want to have it sitting on it or anything. You don't want to catch anything on fire. Just real quick, just like that. And then that was it. So if you guys want to purchase these glitters, like I said earlier, they are available right now in my glitter shop, socglitters.com. It's in the description box as well if you'd like to get that. Also, the chaos box for next month is going to be available uh, on the 1st, so that's coming up soon too. I, what is it, Thursday? Oh my goodness. So last Sunday, I showed you guys these big old cups that I got, and I said I would talk about this week what I plan on doing with it. So I'm going to show you what I what I purchased. I went to Sam's Club, not Sam's Club, Ikea. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I did go to Sam's Club as well, but that's a different story. <laughs> I went to Ikea and I found this cutting board. Isn't that so cool? It's kind of in the shape of a surfboard. So I naturally, I'm thinking I want to do a beach scene on it, like um charcuterie board or something. I don't know yet. Or just maybe something to hang on the wall. You know, it doesn't have to be for food or anything. I could even just hang it on the wall. But yeah, so that's what I want to do with this. And I am so super excited for that. Such a pretty piece of wood too. Very, very pretty. So I'm looking into this and how to do this, how to properly do it. And we're going to do this together, of course. So, <laughs> so that is on my agenda for one of these vlogs. And of course, there's other odds and ends that we're going to be getting done with each other. Sorry, I'm not showing myself. <laughs> there's a couple little other odds and ends we're going to be doing as well this summer. But it's just so much fun just kind of coming in here and doing some other random crafts outside of tumblers so that's why i'm doing those in my vlogs with you guys we're just we're gonna be crafting crafting it up this this summer okay all right so i mean okay so tutorial this week i like i said i gotta get it finished i still can't believe i did that i i made sure no lotion on my hands okay no lotion or you know washing with uh fragrancy stuff lotiony hand soaps okay well, gotta make sure of that <laughs> So I'll make sure to get that done for you guys. Now, I want you guys to know that this was actually my kid's last week of school, or last week was my kid's last week of school. Um, and we have family visiting and all that. Jeff's taking off uh, work and, and stuff. So I just want you guys to know for the next two months during my kid's uh, summer break, if there are moments where I don't post a video or anything like that, don't be alarmed. I'll be back, you know, the following week or whatever. I just might have gotten busy with hanging out with the family. The summers are getting shorter, you know. I have a 14 year old, uh, time's going by so quick. Charlotte starts preschool. I'm not gonna have any kids home with me come the fall, you know. I, <laughs> I'm gonna be a mess. I'm gonna be a hot mess come the fall. <laughs> got, you know, <clears throat> my oldest is gonna be driving soon and my youngest is starting schools and everybody in between. Molly's gonna be starting middle school and Delilah's still on her way up elementary there and I don't know. Anyways, the summers are getting getting shorter, you know, time time just keeps on ticking the way it does. So, anyways, but if there's not if like I said, if I skip a video, don't be alarmed. I'll be back. All right. But I think that's going to do it for me today, guys. I hope you have an amazing rest of your day, an amazing rest of your week, and I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys.